You know, I've been seeing this interface floating around for a little while. This is the Audient Evo 4, and it is a two-in, two-out audio interface. This is clocking in at only $129, so it's sitting on the low end of the spectrum of barrier of entries of interfaces. There are a couple of really dope features about this that makes this special, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. I'm back again today with the Audient Evo 4. I really like the form factor of this and that a lot of companies are going uh, to this mode of interfaces that really kind of sit in the palm of your hand or look good or sit, you know, kind of modular and don't take up a lot of space in a setup, your computer and your audio interface right here, modular basically with all of the connections that you need, uh, all compact in a unit. So they make access to everything really simple and easy. You got your uh, guitar line in TRS type input right here. You got your headphones jack uh, right here on the front so you can put those in uh, you've also got the two XLR uh, inputs and these are combo jacks so you can actually plug in TRS to these as well as just regular XLR cables so that's pretty cool and then your monitor outputs and that's all you really really need there are a few really really dope features uh, to this interface that I think blows a lot of interfaces especially in this price point out the water and that's the fact that it has a lot of what they call smart features built in so it has what they call smart gain which I can press this button and it you know kind of activates uh, uh, a gain function that auto gains basically uh, the input that you have uh, so you don't have to worry about setting those gains and setting those levels uh, yourself uh, it also has smart muting they say so what happens is when I plug in a uh, headphone jack if I got it plugged up to monitors uh, it automatically mutes the monitors and if I had vice versa if I unplug my uh, headphone jack uh, it automatically unmutes my monitors I think that's really really dope uh, and a really really cool feature to have on an interface apart from that it just has push button access to all of your different modes to uh, control your volumes your inputs it's really minimalist so I think that's what makes this uh, such a great interface so let's get this plugged up so we can hear how it sounds plugged up to this microphone here and uh, check out the software features and one more really 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 dope feature that sets this in a class all of its own in this price range. Okay, so now the audio that you're hearing is coming straight from the Evo 4. So I really love this little ring indicator here that kind of shows where you are in your audio levels. I think that's really cool. And then I can actually use, just by pressing the button here, I can increase or decrease the volume on whatever input here. Uh, and you know, I can go back here and I can also monitor from these inputs as well. So that's really, really cool. You can also monitor inside of the software control as well and see all of those things. Uh, the whatever reason this doesn't move it might move if i maybe if i turn a knob nope i don't know but you know this is kind of a software facsimile of what you you know what you kind of have on unit so continuing in the software vein uh this comes with some really dope software uh, with this interface, you get Cubase um, LE3, so you get a DAW, you get Retrolog uh, 2, uh, also by Steinberg. So obviously they've done some sort of deal with Steinberg to be able to offer uh, these things. Uh, you've got the Mtron, you've got Torpedo Wall of Sound, which is like a speaker uh, simulation. So it's almost like on the Waves NX Slate, you know, type vibes. That could be dope. Uh, produce like a pro you get some online courses from there you get the loop cloud um, biggest library of uh, samples uh, so you get access to that and you get Waldorf edition to uh, even so you're getting sounds and you're getting a dog you're getting everything basically in the box that you need so the feature that really sets this interface apart from anything else in its class and it's actually one of the features I don't think I've seen on any other interface you guys can feel free to correct me uh, if I'm wrong down in the comments I'm sure you will but it's called smart gain uh, and I can press this little button right here here and then these two indicators keep start lighting up uh, for which channel I want to activate smart gain on and I can press like channel one so it now has my voice at an optimum level that avoids clipping uh, and I can record with confidence knowing that I won't have any distortion uh, once I get done 
So the last game changing feature of this interface is uh, the loop back mixer, which is really, really dope because it allows you, especially if you're in the streaming world or you're doing things online, whether you're a gamer, whether you're a, um, you know, a musician or producer, engineer that likes to stream their audio live uh, via, you know, Facebook or YouTube live or Twitch or whatever the case may be. This allows you to actually loop audio uh, in from uh, different, um, you know, softwares into your live stream, into your, um, you know, even into other DAW. So theoretically, I could set the Evo as an interface inside of uh, Studio One and I could rec record from Studio One into Logic. So the way it works is here's all of your audio sources here. Uh, this is from mic one, mic two, and then even the main outputs that you have. And you can literally turn it up. And then this is your loopback mix that's showing what's actually going out to the stream. Now, this is really, really cool. They actually show a uh, facsimile of where your levels are in kind of real time. That's actually really, really cool and uh, really, really dope. So if I had this set up and I was running audio out of, say, Logic, maybe I was playing a track and producing live I could literally push my main output volume in and adjust my levels here on the fly and even adjust the overall level of loopback itself so you're getting everything uh, pretty much in the box that you need to be able to record produce uh, all of the the like uh, and I think that makes this loaded and all for 129 bucks so that's all I got for you guys today this is a really really dope interface you should really check it out and if you decide to check it out you can hit the affiliate link down below. Uh, it helps out the channel. Uh, this video is not sponsored at all by Audient. Uh, they didn't send me this. I bought this with my own money that I get from this channel, from the AdSense and things I invest back in and buy stuff in order to do reviews uh, and things of the sort on. So uh, if this really made the you know made up your mind and helped you make the decision to buy it because you're gonna buy it anyway, please go down there and use uh, the affiliate link helps out the channel allows me to keep doing this supports uh your uh, everyday creators like me all right but the thing that won't cost you a dime for your time is you can hit the like button you can hit the share button you can drop a comment down below let me know what you think about it um hit the uh subscribe button turn on notifications do all those other things you do on the video i'll talk to you guys on the next one i'm out holla at your boy